Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're back for another video. We're just going to sit here, and we got a box of goodies came in. Hat's one of them. Still working on it. Um, today, we got in the box of goodies, we got the turnbuckles, associated turnbuckles. We got the ball studs, and we got the ball cups. Now, normally, I would be working on it, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to go play a game. And the driver of the buggy, my daughter, Hi. she's going to be putting the buggy back together. So, we also got a couple of other things in the box. Just a quick peek. Some of these. But, that's going to be for another video. So, today, we're going to go ahead and she's going to put the buggy back together. It's all broken back here. And then, we're going to do an update so you guys can see everything of what's been put into the buggy since she started driving it. So, here, Layla has finished the buggy. All right. Uh, she went ahead and she fixed the uh, this would be the passenger side, so the left side of the buggy. You're looking at it, left side of the buggy. We had to replace this ball stud. It got bent on the threads a little bit. Turnbuckle got bent, and the ball cup snapped in half. So she went ahead and she fixed everything, adjusted it. Um, it's not a hundred percent accurate on the measurements. But she measured, she made sure that the eyeball size was at least the same size as the one on the right hand side. So that way everything will at least go back together. And then we just adjusted the, uh, the camber after that. But as promised, uh, the update on the buggy itself, um, what makes it different from when she's driving the buggy to when I was driving the buggy. So to start out, um, listed in the build video was the servo. Uh, I believe I put the electronics in there in the build video, but that's not what's in there currently. What is in there currently is um, when she graduated from her school, she went from she's going from elementary school to middle school. Uh, I gave her this buggy as a present uh, just so she could focus on it and do what she needed to do as a beginning racer. She, she focuses on maintenance and the driving and the handling characteristics of this. And I'm pretty much her pit guy, just making sure everything's running right, helping her learn and go from there so she can be become a better racer or at least just have fun in the hobby while she's interested in it. But what we have in here, uh, along with that graduation present of giving her the buggy, I got her her own radio system, the uh, the Futaba 3PRKA. Uh, just a something, something simple, three-channel radio. I'm going to have a link for this down in the description for anyone who wants to get a 2.4 gigahertz radio that is nicely, that is nice and cheap uh, from a good manufacturer. Futaba has been around for many years. It's a great radio. It comes with the radio itself. There is a, uh, a switch that you can put into the car. Say if you were running Nitro, uh, you have a switch there to install if you would like to. Uh, and then the receiver is right here. And it's not a bad size. It fits in the buggy just nicely. Let me see if I can move some of these wires out the way. But it fits in there just nicely. And it has, uh, it goes up to three ports and a battery port. So we have channel one and two plugged in, throttle insert and steering, uh, as well as the battery channel is holding her transponder. Um, now, uh, another thing that we're gonna be utilizing on there is a fan. But I'll talk more about that later. But uh, the speed control was, I did get the motor and speed control combo from Hobby Wing. The Just Stock, uh, you can see it on the end of the motor, the Just Stock 21.5. Now, yes, I know the buggies don't run the 21.5 class, but she is a novice. And I wanted her to get something that she can hit full throttle without the buggy going crazy but also, you know, allow her to not have that amount of power to where she would be all over the place. So she can handle this power just fine. And actually, after seeing her driving today, which I'm going to put uh, some of that video in here, in the, some of that footage in here later, uh, it seems like she's having a little trouble clearing some of the jumps. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the pinion size because I got it running a 30 tooth right now. Probably going to drop it down to a, a 28 tooth so that we still have plenty of torque to clear the jumps on our track. Um, but if you look at the speed control, the speed control is not that uh, speed control. Uh, unfortunately, we had a mishap. Uh, the wiring, um, when I put the battery in, we have the batteries 
the shorty packs that have the poles that can go, the battery banana plugs that can go in on either side. And unfortunately, my mistake is I put the battery in there wrong and I shorted out the speed control. So I got her a Works R1 uh, Super Stock uh, speed control. It can handle up to a 13.5 motor turn limit. So that's plenty fast enough for her with the 21.5 or when we put the 17.5 in here when she upgrades. Uh, so there'd be no issues with that. Uh, it's a great speed control. Again, a link for, for the motor, for the speed control. Everything is going to be in the description in case you would like to pick it up for uh, for decent pricing. Um, and then that's that's her buggy. Oh, we've also upgraded the uh, the battery post. This is the, the RSM battery hold down. So you mount these two poles in wherever you would like your battery to be positioned in the chassis. And then it just uses these rubber bands that you can remove the battery with, or yeah, take the battery in and out of the car with. So it looks a little bit nicer, easier to uh, to keep maintaining, and you don't have to keep tightening down thumb screws or thumb nuts, or anything of those sorts. Um, another upgrade is we've put on the J Concepts steering servo brace. Um, I have utilized the team associated slipper delete, so she don't have to worry about a slipper adjustment or anything of those sorts. Um, it'll also allow the fan to sit back here whenever we get a fan. And, um, oh, one of the first races, first couple races she did, I guess it kind of weakened it, but we broke the plastic bulkhead. So I upgraded with the aluminum bulkhead from Team Associated. And I upgraded the team, the steering rack and steering bell cranks from Team Associated. So those are the blue aluminum ones now. Make it a little bit easier to see. So, so this uh, steering rack and then the bell cranks are back there. So those are the blue aluminum from Team Associated. Um, other than that, that's about all that we've done. Oh, other than our track mandates that you run a chassis protector. I didn't want to cover the chassis. The chassis is beautiful from Team Associated. So I put a clear one on there, just a universal, and I cut it out myself. Fits very nicely, very easy to use, and... It just looks good because I can see the chassis rather than having it covered up with uh, with something else. Um, I believe that's about it that we've done on this buggy, just uh, from the races that we have done. Uh, but it, it, like I said, in the video, in the footage upcoming here soon, you'll see the that she's driving around there, maintaining her her track, and you know just driving it as well as she needs to be for right now. Um, but that's all I have on this buggy. Um, oh, one last thing. I did go ahead and purchase them today. I purchased two, one for myself and one for uh, Layla. So I got the ProTech fan. Again, that link will be in the description for the fan. It's a great fan. Uh, I'm using it in um, my touring car. So, you know, that's it's a great fan. It works out very well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be installing that and get her buggy ready for next weekend. Other than that, that's all I got for today. Um, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell for notifications. Cause we've been told that's the way our world goes round Walking on the grounds we've always known Stepping on the footprints in the snow But when it melts the other ways will show 